Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you the importance of hiding your WordPress usernames from the public, and I'm also gonna show you how to do this. So if you think about it, when you log into WordPress, there's two pieces of information you need. One is the username and one is the password. We all know that passwords have to be secure and strong, but if somebody has your username, that's half the battle. So we want to do as much as we can to uh, hide your username from being out in the public. And unfortunately, WordPress does not good does not do a good job of hiding your username. It actually makes it very apparent what your username is if you know where to look. So let me show you what I mean in this video. And like I said, also show you how to hide it. So here is my travel blog at TonyTravels.com, and. Uh, there is, if you go to any one of my blog posts, you can click on here and at the top of every post, you have the date and the author that made your blog post. So the author, if you hover over this, you'll see that, uh, down here in the bottom left-hand corner, it says author slash Tony and Tony happens to be my username for this website. So I don't want that information out there. There's also another way that you can look up, uh, via an API, what the username usernames are for any website, and that would be to go to the uh, WordPress website, go to the domain name, slash wp-json, slash wp, slash v2, slash users, and that's gonna return um, this JSON string, if you know what I mean. It looks like a whole bunch of garbage, but in here is that same information, okay? So we have uh, the author here and Tony, and that's scattered throughout here. So that's my, that's again, my username, for this. So we need to do two things in this video. We need to prevent anybody from making this query by going to this URL. We want to block that URL pretty much. And we want to, uh, back here, um, hide the fact that that's my username, even though some people might argue that that's a useful page, but mine just redirects back to the home page for now. Let's go ahead and show you how to do this. Here is my WordPress admin dashboard, and I'm going to use a plugin called Perf Matters to disable that API. So uh, you can get the Perf Matters plugin. Um, it is a paid plugin, but it does have a whole ton of features. Uh, one of my favorite WordPress plugins. And one of those features is disabling the REST API. Okay, so the REST API uh, for, for non-admins is the default, or actually the default selection is that the REST API is enabled. But pre prior to this video, I had disabled it for non-admins. So basically because I'm logged into my WordPress account right now, I'm able to access that API. But let's say if we go to a guest window and go to Tony Travels, dot com and then i'm going to copy and paste this just because it's easier and hit enter anybody else who's not logged into my wordpress is going to get this error message sorry you do not have permission to make rest api requests so all of that information right away is gone from anybody trying to access it okay so that takes care of one of those issues the other one is the username link right here so how do we change that well, you don't need to plug in for this. You can just go to your appearance section and go to the theme editor. And I highly recommend you work with a child theme here. Any any WordPress theme can have a child theme associated with it. And I have a video about that if you don't know what I'm talking about. But with your child theme selected, go to the theme functions.php file. And what we're gonna do uh, somewhere in here is add a couple lines of code. So I'm gonna paste that in and explain what that does. So basically we're adding a function that returns the about page instead of the author link, okay? So when 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 that page is being generated, when the blog post is being generated, uh, instead of showing the this link right here, the author slash author slash Tony link, it'll go to the about page instead. And you can change that to whatever URL you want. So when we update that file, go back to our WordPress post, refresh the page, hover over this. Now, instead of going to the authors page, we'll go to the about page instead. So if this is not convincing enough for you to change your username, I recommend that you check out this video right here, which is one of me brute forcing my own WordPress website, just to show you how uh, important it is to hide your username and have a strong password. I want to thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for this. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.